Hamstring injuries are consistently in the top three common injuries for most running-based team sports. They're really costly, our athletes stay out for a long period of time and they're also at really high risk of re-injury even when we do return them to play. So over the past couple of years I worked with Dr Morgan Williams to investigate hamstring injuries, what causes them, how we can speed up and monitor rehabilitation and how we can make decisions on return to play. The Nord Board very simply quantifies the amount of force that our athletes are putting through their legs as they come through a Nordic hamstring exercise. It gives us a value of strength on the right side and the left side and it also gives us an asymmetry score. And we think that strength and asymmetry play a huge role in hamstring injuries and return to play and re-injury too. We're looking at how um, this technology can be integrated as part of our sort of monitoring system and our readiness to train. An additional component of using Nordboard is it's now being widely used by many different organisations and the clubs across various countries across the world, so across the Premier League, um, crossing some American sports such as NFL, so that, that wide usage has grown the company but also grown uh, the amount of data available to us to be able to access. There's now a sort of a detailed, like I spoke around the database of normative scores and values. USW has fully supported these projects. We've been able to purchase the full suite of Val Performance and we've been able to go all over the world really testing and training athletes using this equipment. Obviously, could we function without it? Of course, but it would definitely lessen the objective data and the support um, it provides our different practitioners. And the more information you can gain on an athlete, um, it really supports what decisions you make moving forward then. The Nordboard really filled a, a big hole in the research literature for us. It offered us a non-lab based alternative to very quick, very simple, very easy testing of hamstring strength. And that became really central to clinical decision making. It's quick, it's easy, it's reliable, it's valid. And that was really what practitioners were asking for.